everybody. I'm Jackie K. Cooper with the Entertainment Rundown for the week of January 6th. Dumplin' is a movie on Netflix. It's appeared in some theaters. It's kind of an homage to Dolly Parton and her music wrapped around the story of a young girl who wants to be in the beauty pageant run by her mother. Danielle Bartlett plays the young woman. Jennifer Aniston is her mother. This is just an average movie. It'll entertain you if you like Dolly Parton's songs, if you're a fan of Jennifer Aniston, but it's not anything really special. It's rated PG-13 for profanity, and I scored it 5 out of 10. Then we have Holmes and Watson. Will Ferrell and John C. Riley star as the famous sleuthing team. These are two men who can really be funny, but in this film, they just are not. What a disappointment. What a fall from glory for these two men who have been so great in the past. This film is just coarse, average, jokes that fall flat. It, too, is rated PG-13 for profanity. I scored it 4 out of 10. Then we have the suspense movie this week, Escape Room. It stars people you've never heard of before, but it's all about the six people who sign up for an escape room. They're locked in a room. They have to find their way out. If they find their way out, they'll receive $10,000. The only problem is this escape room is one that you can die in trying to find your way out. This movie was fun. It was exciting. I really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. It, too, is rated PG-13 for profanity and violence. I scored it 6 out of 10, above average. The classical or quality movie of the week is The Favorite, F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E. This movie's gotten a lot of Academy Award buzz. It's about 17th century England. Queen Anne is on the throne, and there are two women who are trying to become her advisor and use any means necessary to win her favor. Olivia Coleman plays the queen. Rachel Weiss and Emma Stone are the two women trying to use their brains, their beauty, and even sex to become the favorite of the queen. This film is rated R for nudity, profanity, and violence. I scored it. 5 out of 10. Next week, we're going to talk about at least three more new movies. We've got The Upside, we've got A Dog's Way Home, and then the science fiction replicas. This has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown.